are here on this very special inaugural live broadcast of my New Year's Eve, 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 Eve <laughs> special. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm pretty excited about what I have prepared for you tonight. I know how important it is to start the new year off right. I've always been a big fan of New Year's resolutions, except for the fact that I almost never do them, like never come to them, they never come to fruition. So we're gonna fix that tonight by changing the way we do our New Year's resolutions a little bit, doing some journal prompts beforehand to make sure we're getting to the meat of things. And um, yeah, this is gonna be pre-recorded but broadcast live, so please use the chat, meet the fellow people in your community, and I'll be there in chat too to answer any clarifying questions that you might have. And together, we're all going to get 2024 started on the right note. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. You're going to grab your journal, your phone, your laptop, but put the laptop closed off to the side for now. We're going to use it at the very end. And then hop into your comfiest pajamas, optional, but you could get a candle and maybe your favorite drink like a hot cocoa or a tea. And then once you have all that, meet me at the couch and we're gonna get started together. I'm gonna to go through the prompts as well and we're going to get 2024 rolling. So meet me back right here in just a few minutes. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yore. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up. Whew, that's better, isn't it? Oh, hey, Maggie. So I don't know about you, but I love this time of year. Maybe it's like the dark, cold weather outside. I mean, it's barely cold here in Austin, Texas, right? But we can pretend. And um, it always makes me just like really want to go introspective and reflective on the past year, try to make sense of things, you know, and look ahead to, you know, the, the following year. And, you know, I do tend to be the type of person who loves a good New Year's resolution, but what I've found is that they're not very effective, right? Like, I think a lot of us can relate to this. Like, you make all these resolutions and then like forget what they are by like March, maybe even February. <laughs> um, I looked at mine from last year and I was like, what the heck, you know? Like, these don't even feel like me. And so I'm hoping that what I've developed here tonight will help you, um, you know, uncover a little bit more in a deeper way than just what do I want to accomplish this year? and you know, switch the focus from extrinsic value to intrinsic value and, um, and, you know, and still do some fun stuff like what's my word of the year going to be? What are, what are my resolutions? What do I want to accomplish? And, um, you know, what's my Taylor Swift song for this year? You know, the important stuff. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dive in. I did want to say briefly, I don't know much about astrology, but I do know that Mercury is like going retrograde or something in between, I believe, Capricorn and Sagittarius, and then back into Capricorn. And so what I understand from this is that Capricorn is very like earthly, traditional structure, like very much the New Year's resolutions. I'm a Capricorn sun, so I know know that. And then, um, and then Sag is very like adventure, um, you know, facts based, and like we'll give you the truth, but like, um, but isn't as emotional maybe as, as Capricorn. I don't know. All I know is that it's kind of like we're going to be zeroed in on our goals and stuff and then we're going to kind of get this like wider view from Sagittarius and then we're going to come back in. And it's right around this, it's in this lunar cycle. So I thought that was pretty cool. Just like a little bit of astrology that's like backing up this kind of, you know, taking a wide look at our lives and then coming back into the minutia. So all that being said, oh! There she goes, there she goes. Um, all that being said, um, I wanna go ahead and have a start by reflecting on the last year. So go ahead and take out your phone and I'm gonna do the same, but I have to move this sweet baby cat and I don't want to. Okay, so go ahead and get out your phone and I want you to go to your photos and you're gonna go 
or library, however you want to do it. Um, on Apple, I would do library and then years and click on 2023. Or if you're watching this in the future and you want to review 2024, you could do that. But right now, today, we're reviewing 2023. So you're going to go into 2023. Okay, that didn't work. Just scroll up, scroll up to January. <laughs> Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a minute to reflect back on this past year and make some notes, take some notes. So um, look for anything that's changed and is different in your life. Um, I know I started out this year with a full head of hair. I had long hair and um, I cut it off this year. That was really exciting for me. Um, all right. Apparently my year starts in March for some reason, but um, so just start going through your phone, notice, um, you know, get your journal out, get your pen out and start noticing, you know, fond memories. You can write those down. Um, maybe there's some people that you used to see you don't see anymore, um, pets, uh, events, things that you forgot about that were fun and just start making some notes. So. Go ahead and do that now. Where you worked, maybe. And just kind of, yeah, taking stock of where you've been. Um, my apartment was still new, so I had way less stuff in it. Sometimes that's fun for me to look at. Um, sold my house. That was a big thing. Getting it ready. Worked on a movie. And just keep going through the year. Anything that surprises you, you know, definitely put that down. So we're just looking for, oh yeah, my car got broken into. Looking for memories, lessons, learnings, experiences. And just take some notes. Okay, just a few more minutes here. I'm currently at July. I don't know where y'all are at. Sometimes there's a photo that's like really moving, you know? Sometimes it's like, damn, it's crazy. Uh, how much happens in a year we forget about?
going to my first Pride, really, this year while I've been out. I don't know why I didn't go last year. Maybe I missed it. Some photo events. I saw Alana Glazer live. Okay. And as you're starting to wrap that up, looking for any last memories, you can always pause the video as well if you want more time. But I'm gonna go ahead and start moving on. So once you've um, kind of gotten a better look at um, what really happened in 2023 and remembering some things. Um, start jotting down words. You can make another column if you want. Um, just words that come up. You know, um, adventure for me. Um, rise, recover, connection, loss. Patterns. And this is really just anything that, you know, pops into your your brain as you're kind of reflecting on the changes. Big changes. And what we're looking for here is one word to sum up 2023. You can circle things as well if that's easier for you. And once you have your word, Go ahead and drop it in the chat. Mine for last year is Rise. So I had been in a pretty low place the year before and this year for me was all about coming into my own. Um, I had a great job and um, I tried a lot of things, cut my hair, started a connection group, did photo shoots, um, got my own apartment. And so yeah, this was, this was a year of rising up for me. So that's my word. All right, and so now what I wanna do is draw your attention to this chart. I'm gonna put it on the screen. This is um, the hero's journey. If you're not familiar with the hero's journey, it's basically the structure of a good story. So Joseph Campbell is the one that coined it and sort of like put a framework around it, but it's been used in stories from the beginning of time. And basically, um, they all go in this sort of cycle. There's a start, there's a call to adventure. Think about like Harry getting the letter to go to Hogwarts or Frodo getting the ring. Um, you know, then they meet a mentor. Um, they cross the threshold into the magical world. And the magical world, you know, isn't always magical in every movie, but there's trials and tribulations. They gain new skills. And then there's like a dark night of the soul, revelation, etc., atonement. They get the gift, they get the medicine, the thing that they like went on this journey to get. And sometimes that's a learning, not like a thing. Um, and they return to their home or they have some kind of a, a coming home, either physically to their home or spiritually they return home. And, um, and then it could start again kind of thing. So I want you to just note in your mind, kind of looking back on 2023, where in the hero's journey might 2023 have fallen for you? If you're on this journey and you had to kind of pick where on this cycle 2023 lands for you, um, and there's no right or wrong answer, obviously. Um, just go ahead and drop it in the chat once you figure it out. So for me, I think my 2023 falls somewhere just after death and rebirth. That was 2021 and 22 for me. Um, maybe just before the finally changes, like I feel like finally changes is happening now. 
So maybe revelation, like the learnings and kind of, I feel like I came into some deep understanding. So for me, that's where I would plot mine. So now that you've identified where on the hero's journey 2023 falls, just take a few minutes to journal about what's coming up for you, what that means to you that, you know, that you just went through death and rebirth or just went through revelations or just caught the call to adventure, whatever it is. Um, just take a minute to journal about, um, about that placement of 2023. All right, so this, this takes us more into the journaling part of tonight's evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and read off the question and I'll leave it up for a little while. I'll journal mine. You can drop answers in the chat, anything you're thinking or any questions you have. Um, but we'll just kind of take some time, journal together, listen to the music. Um, and uh, you can pause if you feel like you need more time on anything. So the first question, first we're gonna start with looking back at 2023, then we'll do some you know, general reflections and then we'll move on to 2024. So looking back at 2023, what are you most proud of both internally and externally? What did you accomplish that you're most proud of? All right, so I'll just share mine as an example. Um, but if you need more time, go ahead and pause and um, do what you need to do. So I put, I'm most proud of starting my YouTube channel. It's taken me, it's taken so much guts and bravery and grit, and I can't wait to see where it takes me. Um, external, other external things was like getting my job, or the job I had, getting my apartment. Like I felt really powerful and like financially independent and, um, as far as intrinsic goes, uh, the biggest accomplishment for me has been my shift in my mindset. I finally found a way to get back to manifestation and mindset work um, and make really big strides in my well being. All right, so the next question is what's your biggest regret from 2023? Biggest regret.
And please drop your uh, answers from the last question into the chat if you feel comfortable. Get this closer so I can keep from falling asleep. Okay, so I put, um, my biggest regret is not seeing my friends and family enough. Um, we need to find a way to connect easier with family even when they're far away. Um, and then secondly, leaving my laptop in my car. Uh, I got my laptop stolen and it was monumentally horrible. So don't leave shit in your car. All right, next is kind of a fun one, a little bit silly, but bear with me. Um, what Taylor Swift song sums up 2023? Or, if you're really a Swifty, what era was 2023 for you? If you're not a fan of Taylor Swift, obviously you can use any song, but what song sums up 2023 for you? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put Antihero because I'm my own, like I'm the only, I realize I'm the only thing in my way. I feel like that's kind of what the Antihero is about. Is it, is that what it's about? All right, next question. Is there anyone or any situations that you can make peace with? And I, for that mean, just internally with yourself, like not any kind of outreach, but just is there anything that happened that you can kind of release and loosen the grip on a little bit? Um, and yeah, just kind of make peace with it. And it can be helpful to look back at your list too. All right, so I put a couple things, but 
the first thing that came up was the car break in. Like, I feel like I've kind of held on to anger about that, I guess. Cause it really did set me back a lot financially and it was an extremely stressful time. Um, but like, I'm okay now, everything is resolved. Um, so I think that's something I can just kind of loosen my grip on a little bit. Okay, what would I tell January 2023 me? What would I, what would you tell yourself if you could travel back in time to January of 2023 and tell yourself something? Okay, so feel free to keep writing if you need more time. Um, drop what you're learning about 2023 in the chat. Um, I'll share that I would tell January 2023 me to trust my own timing and my path, start living more for this now moment rather than the next one, learn about gratitude sooner, and start showing up for yourself in small ways. Trust your divine inklings, take care of your body, Consist consistency doesn't have to mean every single day. All right, and then lastly, if you still haven't already, sum up 2023 in one word. For me, that's rise. Throw those words in the chat. Okay, so that sums up 2023 and our section of looking back. Now we're gonna focus on just a few general questions before we move into looking towards the future in 2024. So, um, First question, general question, what is my intrinsic value? And so this means no outside measurements, not numbers, likes, follows, measuring, like anything like that. Um, just like, why am I intrinsically valuable if I never accomplish anything or never do anything? Um, and I think this can be really simple stuff like, your own natural beauty or like your creative mind or um, how kind you are to people or whatever. Um, I'll let you journal, but.
Okay, next question. If I never accomplish any of my goals and dreams, will I be okay? So this one's really good to just like take a minute to imagine, you know, that you've made it through your whole life and maybe you're exactly where you are now, like same financial status, same, you know, status of your dreams is the same or there's maybe just things that you wanted to do that you didn't get to and you know, I think it's important to realize that you're worthy whether or not you accomplish all these things. So, um, if I never accomplish any of my goals and dreams, will I be okay? Can I love myself? Can I accept myself? Okay, and this next one can be a bit more of like a list or just a quick brainstorm, but what shiny things do I continue to come back to in my life? So shiny for me is things that are really exciting and I love them one minute and then I don't. I have ADHD, so shiny object syndrome is like a well-known thing, but like, it's kind of like that. It might be like that for you, it might be a little different for you, um, but like hobbies. I don't know, another good way to look at it is like hobbies, things that I love, but I don't do all the time, but maybe I, I keep coming back to them. Or it could also be like a way of life, like sobriety is one for me, like I go in and out of sobriety a lot, so, um, over the years, so. Um, okay, so again, what shiny things do I continue to come back to? Uh, just to share a few things that I put down, um, playing piano, sobriety, journaling, writing, exercise, energy work, screenwriting, community, uh, comedy, acting, <laughs> sorry, making videos, manifestation, witchy stuff, creative journaling, yoga, minimalism, filmmaking, and meditation. So this is just nice. I, I did this last year and I kind of liked it. Like just a nice kind of running reference of things that are important to me and that maybe I can structure more time for or just kind of keep track of and not forget about, so. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to questions for 2024 and at the end of the session, I have an exciting action step that we'll take together in order to make sure that we keep our focus throughout the year and can remember what our resolutions are. We are gonna make resolutions, we're just gonna make sure we um, sort of complement them with some intrinsic value thoughts and beliefs work as well. So, um, but first we're going to take another look at the hero's journey chart. Okay. So going off of where last year was on the hero's journey, take note of what that might mean for next year. So what comes after, you know, for me, it was revelations. What comes after that on the hero's journey, or if it was, you know, call to adventure for you, what comes after that? So for me, 
It would be finally changes or atonement. I feel like finally changes is what's kind of going on now. So maybe I'll get a little bit of that and atonement energy in my year. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. This is just kind of an exercise that I like to use to put a framework around my, um, my years. So, all right. So looking ahead again at New Year's resolutions, there's a few reasons why I feel like we tend to um, not follow through with our resolutions. One is that we set goals um, for things that we don't have the beliefs or thoughts or behaviors to support. Um, two, sometimes the goal is out of our control, like a number of followers or number of views, or I'm like constantly thinking YouTube, but like number, how much money we make or salary or whatever, um, out of our control, right? So we can't even control the input. I mean, we control the input, but we can't control the output. And then three, we're basing them on extrinsic value instead of intrinsic value. So keeping that in mind, we're going to do a few journal prompts and then we're going to move into the resolutions. So... Journal prompt number one, what do I want to believe about myself and the world in 2024? What do I want to believe about myself and the world in 2024? And you can break this up into two, myself, in the world. All right, next question. What scares me about moving into a new year? What scares me about moving into a new year? Honestly, sometimes New Year's resolutions give me anxiety and like moving into a new year feels so significant that it can be a little bit anxiety inducing. So I'm definitely gonna put that. Empty promises, you know what I mean? <laughs> Empty promises I make myself. Okay, and then next is what song is gonna be my anthem? So for this one, I want you to think about like walking out on a stage, what song are they playing? Or um, yeah, you win an award, what song are they playing? I don't know. Um, but just, yeah, what song's gonna amp you up when you need um, a boost in 2024? And obviously there's songs that haven't come out yet, so we're not talking about those, we're just talking about the ones we know about already. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, 
I know. So I'm turning 30 this year. You know, Bo Burnham's song, I'm turning 30, isn't exactly an anthem, but I'm going to have it on repeat at my party. I apologize for everyone at my party. I don't know that that's a good yearly <laughs> anthem, though. Um, I'm just going to go with good old T-Swift again, because why not? Um, mastermind. Why? Because I'm going to be a master of my mind this year. Earlier today, I was, like, walking around, it was stuck in my head. And I kept singing, like, I laid the groundwork and then just like clockwork and then I would just say whatever I wanted to happen <laughs> and then I'd say because I'm a mastermind <laughs> so yeah uh, I'm gonna go with that all right now it's the moment we've all been waiting for we're gonna set some resolutions but we're gonna do it with three rules one it has to be within your control the outcome two has to be based in intrinsic value and three it has to be measurable so we're just gonna keep that from you know smart goals just to break it down just to break one down a little bit like if you were like I want to lose 50 pounds let's say that's like a normal normal quote-unquote resolution right lose 50 pounds now you could argue that it's within your control but there's also a lot of things that aren't within your control always to get there, maybe? I don't know, this one's iffy, but we'll roll with it. So maybe instead of losing 50 pounds, what's more within your control is showing up at the gym, right? So I wanna show up at the gym and something more based on intrinsic value. Pounds is a very extrinsic measure, right? It's measuring yourself, how do I measure up? Um, so intrinsic value would be more about how you feel. So I want to feel strong. And then the last thing measurable, um, I would, I would do like how frequently you want to go to the gym. So I want to go to the gym three times a week and feel strong. And then I would encourage you to ask yourself, what kind of beliefs do you need to accomplish that? What kind of thoughts do you need to think to accomplish that? Um, and write those down as well. So let's do this for each of your, of your resolutions. So first, write down your resolutions as they normally would be. Like, I want a thousand YouTube subscribers. I want um, to make six figures. I want to get married, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so instead of a thousand YouTube subs, what can I control? Um, I can control the number of videos I make and the intrinsic value, which is how I feel about the videos, so proud of, and then measurable. So I want to make 50 videos I'm proud of. So go ahead and continue with this formula. If you have any questions, drop it in the chat. I'll give you a few more minutes to finish up and then we'll do the best part, which is keeping ourselves on track in 2024.
All right, so there you have it. You did it. Thank you so much for taking this time out of your evening to journal with me. I hope it was productive for you. I hope you learned some stuff about last year and uncovered some intrinsic value for yourself and also made some resolutions that you might actually be able to keep this year. And as an extra step, I really encourage you, as I said before, to go into each resolution and ask yourself what thoughts you need to think, what feelings you need to feel, and what beliefs you need to have to make those a reality. Those are the three things that are gonna make your dreams and goals truly accessible. Um, okay, so now we've made it to the last step, which I think is really fun. So you're gonna get out your notebook with your final notes in it and your phone and you're gonna take a picture of any of the notes that you think are important. It could just be the resolutions or maybe the whole journaling session, whatever feels right to you. And then you're gonna open up that handy dandy laptop I told you about to bring earlier and I'm on Apple, so I can airdrop them to myself, but you're gonna go ahead and transfer them over to that laptop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open up a new email. We're gonna send it to ourselves, and it's gonna be 2024 New Year's resolutions. and honestly just attach the files is what I'm gonna do. You can also type them in the body of the email if you want to. Make 50 videos I'm proud of. Make money being my authentic self. And what was my last one? Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead over to send and go to more, more options. Schedule send, pick date and time. Of course, this is if you have Gmail. If you don't, you're out of luck. Sorry, no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure there's a way to do it in most email platforms these days. So I'm gonna go to June 15th, since it's like the middle of the month at 8 a.m. and I'm gonna send it to myself and then halfway through the year you'll get a reminder so you can see if you're still on track you know um, check in with yourself and maybe we'll even meet back here together and reevaluate and see where we're at and see how it's going so thank you again so much for joining me. I know this was different. I hope that you liked it. It was fun for me to put together and I hope to do more events like this in the future. Thank you for coming, being a part of the chat, being a part of your community and for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I hope you do have a fantastic New Year's and all of 2024. I truly believe that literally anything can be yours if you make it um, a priority and Priority for me means mindset work, means showing up for yourself and um, doing the work, quote unquote. And if you're unclear what the hell that is, subscribe to my channel, follow me for more content. Basically, that's kind of what I'm obsessed with doing is the work to be your best, most authentic self. So I hope to see you around on my channel. Have a wonderful actual New Year's Eve and I'll see you in 2024.